This is a test. This is a test. What do you know about language arts, math, science, and social studies? Find out while playing along with Knowledge for College, where teams from competing UISD schools spin the wheel of knowledge and answer questions from a world of subject categories. It's a mind challenge for students and a chance to win for their school. But most of all, it's a really fun way to learn. Now, let's play Knowledge for College. Hello and welcome to Knowledge for College, a game show featuring some of UISD's best and brightest students. I'm your host, Jose Sanchez. Today we have contestants from Alexander High School and United High School, and our guest host today is Mr. Mario Rosales. He is the Director of Advanced Academics for the United Independent School District. How are you today, sir? Very good. It's good to have you here on, on our show today. My pleasure today. Uh, why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about what it is that, that you do? Uh, I oversee the uh, Advanced Academics curriculum, which includes advanced placement. Uh, the dual credit, the GT program, the UIL high school academics, and also the um, some of the components that uh, contribute to the curriculum of the district at, at all levels of, of the of the curriculum. Uh, I see, I see, mm -hmm. I see. That's a that's a lot of that's a lot of upper oh, yes. upper level. Um, hap happy to work with. Uh, uh, the advanced uh, students in, course, in our district yes, to provide course. what they need in order for them to succeed, of course. especially college readiness. Yes, yes. Of course. What, 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 what sort of a, what sort of a preparation uh, d does you know at, at this level of of of, of working in, in education? Mm -hmm. What, what sort of preparation does that does that require? In terms of uh, for the students or for the for the administrator in charge for the for the administrator for the in administrator charge. in charge. Yeah. Well, it involves uh, having a good background in reference to advanced placement, mm -hmm. uh, college readiness, which includes the dual credit courses, as well as uh, being having a, a, a very good grasp of the gifted and talented student, uh, mm. because essentially most of these programs uh, we are trying to accommodate all the students in our district. Uh, that uh, require the upper level uh, challenges uh, to meet uh, the demands of their um, thirst for knowledge. Of course, of course. Yeah. So you have a lot of, lot of experience and, and education yes. go, go, goes into that. Year, years and years of, of, of yes. teaching. Yes. Wow, wow, wow. Very, yes. very, very interesting, sir. Yes. But it's good to have you here. Thank you. It's good to have you here, sir. My pleasure. Let's go ahead and meet our <clears throat> contestants today from Alexander High School. We have Daniela. How are you doing today, miss? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about yourself. What do you like to do in your spare time? Um, well, I like to play golf, and I also like music. I play the guitar. So. You play the guitar? I play yes. the guitar, too. Wow, how cool. How cool. Excellent. Well, it's good to have you here. Thank you. All right, Jesus, how are you today, sir? Very good, sir. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. And what do you enjoy doing in your spare time? I enjoy working out and playing video games in my spare time. Oh, okay. Yeah, you look athletic. Thank you. you look athletic. All right. Well, it's great to have you here. It's good to have you here. Pa Paulina or Paulina? Pa how do you prefer it? Paulina. Paulina. Okay, Paulina, how are you today? Doing good, yeah. Uh, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Thank you. It's great to have you here from United High School, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. So tell me a little bit, what, what do you like to do? Um, I like to stay after school and help with robotics. I'm also oh. part of the UIL. I yes. see. Mm -hmm. I see. Ro robotics. So uh, you build the robots or, or uh, just design them or, or both? Um, well, we like to help out with everything we can. I help with building the robot and the design aspect and presentation. Oh, okay, okay. There's a lot of stuff that goes into that, right? Yes. Lots of stuff. Wow, all your knowledge, just, just, just your creativity, everything, everything. Wow, that, that's, really, that's really fascinating. It's really, I've, I've, I've never explored that particular area, but yeah, it's very, very interesting. It's really good to have you here, Alina. And last but not least, Payton, how are you doing, sir? Doing well. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And what do you enjoy doing in your spare time, sir? Um, I'm in UIL science, and I'm also in robotics. Oh, okay, okay. So, so you and Paulina, 
Y'all, yes. y'all uh, work together a lot. <clears throat> yes, yes. On the on the on the, on the robots. And uh, have you have, have you made anything anything interesting, like something that can talk or, or anything like oh, that? Oh, jeez. Uh, no, we actually we we design robots for specific competitions. So, oh, okay. So really, our robots just perform very specific tasks. I see. I yes. see. I yeah. see little little rovers with arms and and yes, and, and, and whatnot. Well, mm-hmm. that's really interesting. Really, really is. And it's great to have the two of you here. All right. So now that we've met our contestants. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go over the rules, okay? Uh, each team is going to take turns spinning that wheel there, okay? Uh, we have categories, right? Of uh, It's uh, math, science, language arts, and social studies, all right? Each of those questions is worth five points, okay? And then we have our wild turn category, that red one you see there. That's our wild turn category. Those questions can come from any academic subject area, and they're, they're difficult. Those are the difficult questions. They're hard questions. So they're worth double points. They're worth, each one of those is worth 10 points. There's a one-minute time limit to answer each question. And when your time is up, you're going to hear a bell, like that one right there. And when you hear that bell, you got to give me your answer right away, okay? Because your time's up. All right. So, of course, uh, each team will earn the points by answering the questions correctly. That, that's kind of a no-brainer, right? Yeah. So, if, like, one team gets it wrong, the <clears throat> other team will get the opportunity to answer the question and earn the points for themselves. We had a coin toss earlier, and Alexander, right? Alexander, Alexander <coughs> won control of the board. So, let's play. Spin the wheel. Okay, and we're going to start out with math. We're going to start out with math, and this is going to be worth five points. You have calculators and pencils and papers there to do whatever calculations you all need to do. Go ahead and give them their, their math problems. Okay, the question is, let A times B equals to A to the B plus A plus B. Compute the value of 1 star 3 minus 3 star 1. Okay, do you have the, the answer? Uh, yes, we're going to go with C. With C. Correct. That is the correct. Excellent. Excellent. <clears throat> so y'all are starting out with five points. Good job. United High School, it's your turn. Go ahead and spin that wheel. Oops, math again. Again. Another, another math question. And I would think you guys enjoy math since y'all are into robotics and and all of that stuff. So go ahead and uh, listen closely. Okay. The lengths of the sides of a triangle ABC are consecutive positive integers. D is the midpoint of BC and AD is perpendicular to the bisector of DC. The product of the length of the three sides is A, 24, B, 60, C, 120, D, 210, or E, 336. And we can uh, repeat the question for them while they while sure. they work on it. The length of the sides of triangle ABC are consecutive positive integers. D is the midpoint of BC, and AD is perpendicular to the bisector of DC. The product of the length of the three sides is A24, B60, C120, D210, or E336. And this would specifically be within uh, uh, geometry, no? Precisely, yes. Precisely, yeah. (laughs) 
Okay, your time is up. What <clears throat> do you have for us? C60. That is incorrect. That is incorrect. Alexander High School. What is the correct answer? We're going to go with C. You're going to go with that C? That is incorrect. That is also incorrect. The correct answer was A, 24. All right, no score there. No score there. That was a tough one. That was a tough one. I wouldn't even know how to get started on that one. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and let Alexander take their turn. Go <clears> ahead and spin that wheel. <clears throat> All right, we almost had yet another math question, but no, we're going to have social studies this time. Let's take a break from math for a little while. All right, here we go. Go ahead and follow along very closely. And go, go, go ahead, Mr. Rosales. Okay, under the U.S. Constitution, the government may not take private property unless A, the land requires extensive restoration, B, the government determines that the land is critical to developers' profits, C, the landowner refuses to build a home on the land, and D, the government pays the owner fair compensation for the land. Um, we're going to go with D. That is correct. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Good, 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 good. So that's another five points for <clears throat> Alexander. United, spin the wheel. Why don't you give it another good hard spin? There we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Math. 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 Game of chance. Yep. All right, so this is going to be worth five points. And listen, very. I can. I can already see that it's going to be. Well, for me anyway, it's a. It's a. It's a little bit of a compli complicated problem. Go ahead and listen very, very carefully and follow along. Go ahead, sir. Uh, in each of the following numbers, the exponents are to be evaluated from top down. For instance, a to b to c is equal to a to the b c. The largest one of these five numbers is two to the second to the second to the second to the third or B, 2 to the 2nd to the 2nd to the 3rd to the 2nd, or C, 2 to the 2nd to the 3rd to the 2nd to the 2nd, D is 2 to the 3rd to the 2nd to the 2nd to the 2nd, or E is 3 to the 2nd to the 2nd to the 2nd to the 2nd. Do this one, do this one. Wow, that's quite, that, a, number, that was a, lot of quite a number of exponents in yeah. power shoe. Yeah. That's a way, way to pile those up there. Right. Wow. Yeah, I don't think they taught this when I was in high school. <laughs> I don't think they did. Okay, do you have an answer? We're gonna go with E. With which one? E. With E. That, that is incorrect. That is incorrect. Alexander High School, what's We're the correct answer? We're gonna go answer? with C. We're that is go incorrect. With C. That is also incorrect. The correct answer is B. The correct answer is B, what is it? Two to the second, to the second, to the third, to the second. I don't know what that means, but that was the correct answer. <laughs> okay, so there's no score there, and we're gonna be taking a quick break. We'll be right back with more knowledge for college. Stay tuned. Get on the right track this school year. All United ISD high school students are eligible to win a new car as part of the SAME's Key on the Classroom program. In order to win, you'll have to go the distance by having perfect attendance during any nine week period. Your name will then be entered into the UISD grand prize drawing to win a new 2019 Kia Soul. So go the extra mile, attend class, and have a chance to win a new car. Educators should always maintain a professional relationship with their students. Unfortunately, statistics show improper teacher-student relations in Texas are at an all-time high. It's considered a second-degree felony and, if convicted, could be punishable by imprisonment of 2 to 20 years, fined up to $10,000, and registration as a sex offender. You will be terminated from employment, and it will result in loss of your teacher certification. Consider, Consider the consequences. consequences. 
United ISD is looking to hire school bus drivers. Qualified drivers who are hired will receive paid bus driving training, paid annual drug and alcohol testing, paid annual physical exam, paid state required bus driver certification, paid certification class time and excellent employee benefits. In return, UISD is looking for a two-year bus driver commitment. Consider a rewarding career working with students at United ISD apply today. Feelings of hopelessness, change in behavior, withdrawal from family, friends, or favorite activities is not just being moody. Depression and suicide ideation is a serious health concern, but help is available. Contact your school counselor for assistance. Suicide is a permanent solution for a temporary problem. You can also contact the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline or Alliance for Safe Kids. Get help today. We are back. You are watching Knowledge for College. Today's contestants are from Alexander High School and United High School. Our guest host today is Mr. Mario Rosales, uh, Director of Advanced Academics for the United Independent School District. I believe you had a question for the students. Oh, yes. I noticed that most of them are magnet students. All of you are magnet students. And that's another component that I oversee that I didn't tell you at the beginning of the show. Mm -hmm. So my, my question is, uh, in reference to where you're going to wanting to go to college, how has that program, as well as the high school program, prepared you for that challenge to wherever you need to, you want to go? How has the program that you're in? I'm in the engineering magnet. Okay. And uh, I want to be a biomedical engineer. Cool. So uh, definitely just being in the AP, uh, part of the school has allowed me to access like different science classes such as chemistry and biology that really have helped me in that field and then my different magnet classes um, such as my first year freshman year one have helped with just like uh, create creativity and just like letting your ideas flow. I did get a picture of the robot that you guys were using to compete. Oh. I, I was one of your guest speakers so the first thing Ms. Rodriguez wanted me to do was take a picture of the robot before mm -hmm. the, you were going to I believe San Antonio so oh, okay. I hope everything went well. Okay. Yeah, thank you. We're actually the second uh, rookie team in the entire world for our right, FRC cool. competition. Good. Yes. Ms. Um, being in the magnet, I've seen that there's just so many great teachers and opportunities. I mean, we have the robotics team that really just lets you see the whole engineering aspect, well, whether it be design, building, or programming, and that's really helped me want to help me choose where I want to go. All right. Um, what path I would want to And I also pursue. know, because I oversee UIL, that you recently competed uh, at the district UIL contest, and you yes. did really well, right? So you're going to regionals yes. in calculator? Yes, calculator So tell us a little bit about that. Um, well, we had our district competition, and it was, well, in my team it was 32 people, and I placed third, and I'd be going to region in two weeks to San Antonio to compete. All right, good luck. Um, well, I'm an Alexander Magnet. It's more of a science program. So mm -hmm. the classes that I think that helped us, like are going to help us in the future. I took met, met terminology, um, microbiology. I'm currently taking microbiology and anatomy and physiology. I believe that one was the best because we, we got to perform dissections. And I feel like we're getting an experience to what we see like in the future. So it better help us prepare for that. All and right. then next year, we're going to be performing uh, rotations. We're going to go to the hospitals and see the environment and get us prepared for medical school. So you intend to go on pre-med? Yes, pre yeah. All right, good. Good luck. Thank and you. Yada. Yeah, same thing. I want to go to medical school. All so right. being able to take these classes early and really get to see that it's something that I enjoy, um, it really helps um, strengthen my decision that I want to go to med school because sometimes you don't know and taking these classes and realizing that I am really into it and that I like it and that I'm learning, it's definitely paved my way to med school. So I remember you being recognized in, during the board meeting in December for, as an AP scholar. Yes. So tell us how that's gonna help. Um, well, AP classes, I love them, especially since when you pass them, you get the credit. And even though maybe some schools won't take all the credit because I'd like to go to Stanford and <clears throat> maybe they won't oh. take all the credit, but yeah. at least I'm taking an advanced class that can help me um, learn how to take classes seriously and how to um, manage my time so when I go to a big school like that I'll be able to um, cool. succeed as well. So is it neuroscience that you're going into? Or? I would yes oh, I would like cool. to go into neuroscience. Very good. 
Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, very interesting. Wow. We, we certainly do have some of the best and brightest yes, we do. Here, here today. Very interesting. Very fascinating. Congratulations to all of you. And of course, we always have the, the highest hopes and I'm sure you guys are going to do great uh, wherever you go. All righty then. So uh, let's go ahead and continue <clears throat> with the game. I believe the last question was United. So that means it's Alexander's turn. So go ahead and spin the wheel. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's time for a wild turn uh -oh. question. That'll be the one in the middle there. Uh-huh. Yeah, let's see here. We're gonna have, what is this? It's a social studies question, all right? And this is worth 10 points, <coughs> all right? Listen very carefully and follow along. Go ahead, sir. Okay, which of the following best explains why the framers of the U.S. Constitution allowed for the document to be amended? A, to restrict people's rights in times of war. B, to limit the power of the people to overthrow the government. C, to give more powers to the Supreme Court in changing legal is issues. And D, to account for changes in society and legal matters. And we're gonna go with D. That is correct. That is correct. <clears throat> very good, very good. That is 10 points for Alexander and it's United's turn. Go ahead and spin the wheel. Okay, social studies, social studies. And this is gonna be worth five points. Go ahead and uh, follow along very carefully with uh, Mr. Rosales, go ahead, sir. During the 1920s, what was one result of innovations in US transportation technology? A, commercial airplanes replaced ocean liners as the primary means of travel to Europe. B, mass-produced automobiles made travel more affordable for many people. C, cable cars provided a comfortable means of quick travel to any city within a state. And D, container ships delivered agricultural goods to ports along the Pacific coast. We're gonna go with B. That is correct. That is correct, yeah. It's a <clears throat> Cars became more readily available in, in the 1920s. Very good, very good. So that's uh, five points, five points for United. Go ahead, Alexander, spin that wheel. <coughs> math, good Lord, here we go math. with another math question. With another math question. I'm beginning to think you guys are kind of like aiming for that one. Here we go. Go ahead and uh, follow along very carefully with Mr. Rosales. The go length ahead. of a certain rectangle is increased by 20% and its width is increased by 30%. Then its area is increased by A, 25%, B, 48%, C, 50%, D, 56%, and E, 60%. Let's go ahead and repeat the question for them. The length of a certain rectangle is increased by 20%, and the width is increased by 30%. When, then its area is increased by 25%, B, 48%, C, 50%, D, 56%, or E, 60%. And we're trying to figure out what the area is increased by. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna go with D. That is correct. That is correct. 56%. Indeed. Very good. <laughs> Very good. All right. Five points for Alexander High School. United High School. Go ahead and take a spin at that wheel. Let's see what we get this time. And we're going to do language arts now. Language arts. I think that's our first language arts question right there. Yes, sir. Uh huh. I think it's uh, the first one. Of the whole game. Yes. Yeah. So follow along very, very carefully and listen closely. Go ahead, sir. Since fanboys is a mnemonic device for remembering the coordinating conjunctions, uh, for what does the F stand for? A, forward, B, finally, or C, four? Oh, yeah. Are you just going to say it? Yeah, yes, I am. What can we say? Hmm? We can say it. Uh, C, four. Correct. Correct. Very good. <clears throat> very good. Very good. That's five points for United High School. And now we're going to be taking another short break. You are watching Knowledge for College. Keep it right here.
Once you post your image online, you can't take it back. Anyone can see it. Remember, think before you post. Get on the right track this school year. All United ISD high school students are eligible to win a new car as part of the same key on the classroom program. In order to win, you'll have to go the distance by having perfect attendance during any nine week period. Your name will then be entered into the UISD grand prize drawing to win a new 2019 Kia Soul. So go the extra mile, attend class, and have a chance to win a new car. Unsportsmanlike trashing against Texas. Take care of Texas. It's the only one we got. We You've been watching Knowledge for College, a game of knowledge and learning featuring some of our best and brightest students here at UISD. We would like to thank our contestants from United High School and Alexander High School. Uh, thank you for being part of our show. It was great having you guys. It really was. Thank yeah, you. yeah, that was that was fun. And of course, we want to thank our guest host, Mr. Mario Rosales, mm -hmm. uh, the director of Advanced Academics. Is that sure. correct, sir? Correct. For for the United Independent School District, sir. What did you think of our show today? Oh, excellent opportunity to interact with the students in reference to what they learned during high school. Uh, specifically, since I've been involved with UIL uh, academics, and it sort of like reminds me about what happens in the arena of the mind. So this is a perfect example of, of them showing you uh, what what is it that they've learned through their year, through the years in, in uh, of, of uh, high school, not only high school but middle school as well as elementary school. So in essence, I'm really thrilled that uh, this is coming alive, and uh, mm -hmm. they're getting immediate response to what is it that they're they're learning. And I'm, it's it's pretty much a uh, a testament to what uh, they've done through their years of preparation. Indeed, sir, and it's a great way to get feedback. Yes, of course, very much. of course, of course. Well, th thank you very much for everything that you do I appreciate for, the, it. for the students of, of UISD. All right, so don't forget to watch Knowledge for College and all of our other fine programming on this and other local TV stations, including the Public Access Channel. Thank you for supporting our show and watching. We will see you next time on Knowledge for College. Let's say goodbye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>